kawaii toy collector and in today's video I'm going to be testing new no glue slime recipes so yeah also guys the notification squad for my last video is fierce channel Aya Yash Aniana Nicole Vlogs and Elisa Camarena so if you guys want to be a part of the hashtag notification squad, all you guys have to do is after you subscribe to me, hit the bell. That will mean you guys will be notified right when I upload a new video. So after I upload a new video, make sure you comment at least under 10 minutes hashtag notification squad. And you can be like one of the people seen on the screen today. Also, please leave a like and subscribe to Kawaii Toy Collector in the comments down below. Give us some video ideas. So let's get right into the video. Okay guys, so in today's video, I'm testing new no glue slime recipes. So the first new no glue slime recipe I'm testing today is baby oil fluffy slime. So the ingredients you guys need to make this slime recipe is baby oil. The next thing you guys will need is shaving cream and a bowl or plate to make your slime in. And last but not least, you guys need a mixing tool. I'm using a spoon. So you guys are first going to take out your bowl or plate. And I got this from one of you guys. You guys commented this in my last video. So you guys said you first need to take out your bowl or plate and you need to add your baby oil into there. So I'm going to open it up. And I don't know how much you need to add, but I'll just like... Mm, let's see. I'll add that much because like I don't want to waste this because we do use this baby oil in the house. And now so you need to add your shaving cream. So I'm just using this Barbasol shaving cream. I used the original one because I don't really know if you had to use shaving gel or cream. So I just got this kind. And I said just add like two pumps of it. And I said mix it in. I'm like really confused with this recipe because I don't see how this can make slime. But, you know, it could maybe make some thing, like slime. Mm, I don't know if this is working really well. It's kind of actually forming a little bit. I'm just going to, like, mix it around. It's, like, really messy. kind of cool. And then they said that you need to actually put this in the freezer for I believe like a couple minutes. I'm going to put it in there for about five minutes and when I'm done like it's in the freezer I guess it will like be like slime or maybe it will be like just like fluffy slime. So I will see you guys in a Okay so I just took out the baby oil and shaving cream slime and let's see how it is. I don't know, like, it's kind of like, let me try touching it. It's kind of like, well, no, it's not like slime at all. It's like more hard and like clumpy in some parts. I put it in for just five minutes and it turns like this. I feel like if you add some cornstarch, this actually might work really, really good. But for me, this is like a huge fail. Look at this, like, that's not even slime. Like, I feel like most of like the no glue slime recipes I get, for like testing, I feel like you guys really want me to see them test them because I feel like some, I don't know, like some people might be like, oh they work and stuff, then like for other people they don't really work. But this one was a complete fail, but it smells really good, so if you want to, if you want like a smell good slime, but it's not slime at all, this is for you. It's like kind of bad, really bad actually. It's not even slime. <laughs> but yeah, let's move on to the next new no glue slime recipe I will be testing today. Okay, so the next new no glue slime recipe I will be testing is shampoo detergent slime. So the ingredients you guys need to make this slime recipe is shampoo, but I'm using like the shampoo plus conditioner and body wash by Suave Kids because I think this works the best for like no glue slime recipes. Yeah. The next thing you guys will need is laundry detergent. I'm just using Tide. And you guys will need a bowl or plate to make your slime in. And last but not least, you guys will need a mixing tool. So you guys are first going to take out your bowl or plate. 
And you're gonna add in your like shampoo or like your Swab Kids three in one, whichever one you guys use. I'm gonna focus on this for you guys. Yeah. Okay. So that looks like enough, I think. Yeah. And now I need to add in your Tide laundry detergent. So I'm gonna add in this much. I don't know how much you guys really need to add. I'm going to focus though. Okay. It's kind of forming. It's like really jelly like. like that's, it's kind of weird actually. It's so cool. I'm going to try adding a little bit more the soap. Well, it's kind of really cool. Like the activator's kind of working like it's glue. I want to touch it. It's really sticky. It's so thick right here. Like it feels like slime, but like, I don't know. I don't know about this. no idea. I don't know what to think about this at first. Like, it's not really turning into slime, but, like, one of my fans was, like, telling me, like, over musically about this. They're like, OMG! Like, like you should really do this recipe. And I was just like, oh, yeah, I'll try it out in my video. It actually got really watered down. It was thick before. I'm gonna say this isn't really slime, but for the people who love money and love, love watery slime, this is perfect for you, because... This is just plain water. <laughs> it's kind of sticky just a little. It's really sticky. I didn't mean that. I mean, it's like kind of like slime a little. But you know, if you guys like slime that's like really like watered down and stuff, this is perfect for you. So, this was this recipe. So, I'm going to move on to the last recipe. Okay, guys. So, before I move on to the last and final new no glue slime recipe I will be testing for you guys today. I want to talk about something that is sponsoring my video today. It is Maddie Ray's Slime and Glue. This shop consists of glue, containers, food coloring kits, and so much more coming in the future. And they sponsored me today because they wanted me to show you guys some of their supplies. So they have white glue, they have clear glue, and these come in gallons and regular like size like glue bottles. And they also sell food coloring kits. And the food coloring kits consist of white, tan, pink, red, orange, yellow, green, sky blue, royal blue, violet, black, and brown. And they also consist of the shop is containers. And I love these containers because I have been looking everywhere for these and they finally sent them to me. So thank you so much. And also guys, their slime, I meant the glue, basically makes the best slime ever. This is made from the clear glue and the food coloring kit and a little bit of activator. And look at that. It's so drizzly and I love drizzly slimes. I'm actually going to show you guys this. It has the best consistency ever. It's not too sticky. It's not too like rough. It's perfect. And the color is a little bit different on camera but it's like a really cute purple color. Like lilac a little bit. I think this one's amazing. So this is the clear glue one. And then this one is the white glue one. It is like a really like cute like green color. And this one's really really pokey. And like when you make slimes and glues they're super super soft. And like I'm not just saying this because I'm being sponsored by them. I'm like being honest like their glues are amazing, their containers are amazing, and everything else. And you can also make like other kinds, like sparkly slimes and stuff like that. Like this one's really cool too. And all their glues make like a really pokey consistency and a really spreadable one. So people who like that kind of like style of slime, I think these would be perfect for you guys. But also guys, I'm going to be doing a giveaway with some of her products. I'm going to be giving away the slime food coloring kit 
also a container filled with slime that I made for you guys. It will kind of be like this color. If you guys, like, whoever wins it, I'm actually going to let you choose, like, what kind of slime you want. But if you want to win this, all you guys have to do is, in the comments down below, put enter me. And if you want, like, more information, read the, like, description down below, too, to make sure you get, like, your parents' approval with this. So, yeah. So, let's move on to the last and final no glue slime recipe I will be testing. Today. Okay, so the last new no glue slime recipe I will be testing today is lotion slime. So the ingredients you guys will need to make this slime recipe is shampoo. I'm just using the same Suave Kids 3 in 1 shampoo I used earlier. You guys will also need some lotion. I'm using baby lotion. And a bowl or plate to make your slime in. And last but not least, you guys will need a mixing tool. So I'm first going to take out my bowl or plate, and they said you need to add in your shampoo first, but I'm using the Suave Kids 3-in-1. Hopefully you guys can see this. Yep, so that looks like enough. It's like I don't want to make too much. And then you guys said you need to add in some of your baby lotion. I don't know how much you need to add, but I feel like you should add, ooh, I just want everyone, I'm so sorry. I don't know how much you need to add. I'm going to add. You guys can't even see it. That looks like enough. And you guys should just mix it in. It just melted. <laughs> what? Hmm. I don't know what I think about this. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to add... I don't know what to add into it because it's like it didn't even work. This is just all watery. Hmm. Try to add in a little bit more shampoo. Wait, it's actually becoming a little sick. Okay. So it's becoming thick, so I'm actually going to put this in the freezer. This was not requested for me to put it into the freezer, but I feel like if I put it into the freezer, it might work a little bit more. I know I'm switching up the, like, directions of this, but it's, like, really thick at the bottom. So I'm going to put this in the freezer for, like, five minutes, and then when I come back, hopefully it will be slime. Okay, so I just took it out of the freezer. It's been five minutes. It didn't really freeze a lot. I'm actually going to check on it. I don't really know if anything really happened. It feels really thick at the bottom. I'm going to try, like, putting my hand there. There's, like, some clumps at the bottom. I feel like that's, like, the dried up, like, shampoo, maybe. Yeah, there's, like, some little clumps. I feel like this maybe did work. Like, look. There's, like, a clump or two at the bottom. I'll try to pick it up to show you. Like, I don't really think this could be slime. Oh, no, the clump is, like, melting in me. <laughs> this is what it looks like. It's, like... It's kind of like slime. I feel like if I put it in the freezer for a little bit more, it'd work better. I don't know. It's like really stringy. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Wait, what is it like? There's like clumps like all over this. Like, it's like, I don't even know what that is. It's like light pink, so I guess it's from the shampoo maybe. I feel like this did work, if I'm being honest. I believe this did work for me. I think what happened is the shampoo reacted right away when you add it in your, like, lotion, then when you put it in the freezer, I feel like it kind of, like, freeze them into clumps. So that's why there's, like, a bunch of, like, little clumps at the bottom. Like, I can feel one right here. Where'd you go? It's right here. See, there's, like, there's, like clumps everywhere all over this. Like, legit everywhere. But I do think this recipe did work, basically. So I'm going to say this was a success. If you put this in the freezer a little bit more, I do think it will work much better. So whoever gave this, me this recipe, I think you did really good. Because it worked pretty good. Like, it was kind of like slime. So if you like watery or kind of like clumpy slime, this is perfect for you. But I'm going to show you guys all the recipes I tested today. So this one was like a maybe, maybe slime. Like, it kind of did work, but at the same time, it was like, um, I don't know. So, the first one we tested today was the baby oil and the shaving cream slime. Then we tested the shampoo and laundry detergent slime. And no joke, guys. It's forming. Like, I'm going to say this kind of did work. It's, it formed a lot. Look, there's like clumps in it. Like, I didn't even touch this at all. 
I left it in the corner. There's like starting to like get clumps in there, so I do think that one did work. So that one was, I guess, a maybe, maybe too. And this last one was like a kind of big maybe, maybe because there was all like clumps in here and stuff. So I'm gonna say these two did work, and this one was, um, sadly did not work today. But yeah. So I hope you guys liked this video. Please leave a like and subscribe to Kawaii Toy Collector. In the comments down below, give us some video ideas. Also guys, check out Maddie Ray's Slime and Glue. I will leave a link to her website right down below. Also her Instagram. So bye guys, love you, and peace. Thumbs up for no glue slime recipes. Bye!